this day in 2017, Georgia landed the commitment of Zamir White, and it was pretty easy to see why everyone was excited. At the time, White was the number one running back in the 2018 recruiting class and a five-star prospect to boot. It provided a huge jolt into the arm of Georgia's recruiting class at the time that wasn't feeling all that great about itself. That recruiting class went on to finish number one overall, picking up a slew of commitments as Georgia on the, on the field went on to have a great season, ending in the national championship game with a loss to Alabama. With White set to arrive on campus, there was a lot of reason to be excited about him. But at the end of his senior season, he ended up tearing his ACL. But he worked hard in rehab, and he got himself in a position where, in August, he was working his way back into the team. That unfortunate news happened again to White as he tore his other ACL, meaning that in the course of a year, he had torn his ACL in both knees. He missed his entire freshman season not seeing it down. Georgia still found a way to get to the SEC championship game. And because of his backstory and how hard and he continued to persevere and work, White really endeared himself to a lot of fans. It also helped that he was a five-star prospect. That's why when he finally made his debut in the 2019 season, fans who had taken over Georgia's Vanderbilt Stadium were literally chanting Zeus as a way to welcome him to the field and really welcome him into the program. White played fairly well in that first game, busting off a 29-yard run, and it was sort of like his career up to that point. That run in particular looked like he was bouncing his way to the outside, potentially like a train getting ready to take off and head to the end zone. But the ball got popped out from behind him and he ended up fumbling. It sort of represent what kind of last year was. It seemed like he started making some moves and making his way and making some progress for the Georgia football team, but he never really got up to full speed. He never even really looked like the player we all thought he was going to when Georgia got him, as a number of recruiting analysts and players and coaches like Urban Meyer have raved about what White was as a high school prospect. It's unknown if he'll ever get back to that just given the rea reality he has to live with with his two knee injuries. But it is worth remembering that White is still, based off what we saw a little bit last year, a guy who has some talent in him and can potentially do some special things for Georgia. White got his first real crack at showing who, what he could be as the feature back for Georgia in the Sugar Bowl. It wasn't exactly the greatest day for him as he had 18 carries for 92 yards and a touchdown. But that touchdown run showed what kind of a player White can be. A guy who can keep moving and get better as the game goes on, churn legs, and wear out defenses over the fourth quarter. It's also a little reminiscent of another guy who had a very serious knee injury in his time in Georgia, and that's Nick Chubb. Chubb wasn't exactly going to juke guys out of his shoes, but the way he just kept running and kept running through players or running over players helped make him one of the best backs in Georgia history, arguably one of the best of all time. In the 24-7, 365 news landscape that we all live in now, it's easy for players to get overhyped and over-talked about and over-excited, putting them in an unfair position where it's almost impossible for them to live up to the hype that is bestowed upon them through no doing of their own. White, unfortunately, is going to fall into that category. I'd be really surprised if he ends up being as good of a running back as, say, Urban Meyer spoke about here. Another guy that I saw up close and personal, I recruited him in high school. When he came out of high school, he was one of the best backs I've seen in the last five, six, seven years. Powerful, fast, uh, has it all. So a guy, I went to SEC, a guy from Georgia and a guy from Florida. Well, that doesn't mean that he's not going to end up being a really good and talented running back for Georgia. Cole Kubik already has him as his number five running back in the SEC this season. And if Georgia's offense gets fixed and turned around, there's a good chance he might end up being higher than that. Georgia, even with the new offense led by Todd Munkin and a new quarterback and out of Jamie Newman, JT Daniels, Carson Beck, Juan Mathis, or Stetson Bennett, is still going to be a run-first offense. And given White's body size, his frame, his talent, and how he's able to play, and like we said earlier, just wear players down over the course of the game, he figures like someone who fits really well into what Kirby Smart is still going to want on Georgia's offense. And it's worth pointing out that while Todd Munkin wasn't calling plays last season for the Cleveland Browns, he was still the offensive coordinator. Nick Chubb, that same Georgia running back, ended up finishing second in the NFL in yards. As White, like Chubb has, gets further and further away from his knee injuries, he's going to become more confident and get better at what he was. It's worth remembering who White was as a prospect, because while he might never ever get back to what that was, there is still plenty of reason to be excited about him, even if he ends up reaching 85-80% of what that was, because that's still a really, really good football player. Again, he wouldn't be at Georgia and wouldn't be in the position that he was in if none of that was the case. Him starting the Sugar Bowl and leading Georgia and rushing in that game last year, a game they won 26-14, I think is going to go a long way in showing and saying what White can be for Georgia this year. He might not be the next Herschel Walker or an Adrian Peterson type running back, but it's still worth remembering why on June 27th, the day he committed to Georgia, it's worth remembering why we can be excited about what Samir White can do for Georgia.
For more Dog Nation videos, check out youtube.com slash dognation.